Well, hello there, Faith Pocatello Daily here. It's the 9th of November, 2022, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 18 through 24. For the word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and the discernment of the discerning I will thwart. Where is the one who is wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since in the wisdom of God the world did not know God through wisdom, it pleased God through the folly of what we preach to save those who believe. For Jews demand signs and Greeks seek wisdom, but we preach Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and folly to Gentiles, but to those who are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God, and the wisdom of God. See, one of the things we need to understand is that the power of God transcends our feeble and finite minds. The power of God and his wisdom is beyond our own. So what we try to figure out in our own minds um, is sometimes like, wait, Christ crucified? That's the power of God? Um, It is. He is the one who took upon the sin of the whole world and buried it in the grave and rose to life. And by his power, his miracle working power can change a person. And so I think that sometimes we sit there and go, in my mind, I can't understand it. In my mind, it makes no sense. Well, listen, um, in God's economy, it makes complete sense. He makes the rules. He's the one that gets to say what is. And he is other than us. And so by faith, we say, um, I, I, I see that this is real. I see that what God says is true. My flesh cannot understand it. But by faith, I receive it and I apprehend it and I cling to it because it is the power of God unto salvation. So may God richly bless your day. Enjoy Jesus. Go and share life.